Welcome Taurus Gemini to your numerology reading for December. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, getting straight in here. Seeing what is going on and what message Spirit has for you this month. Where's Gemini? And it feels like one more. Right. Yep, there it is. 66 is healing, it's bringing that double number down to a, a six. And then you have 32, three plus two equals five. So you could be seeing sixes, fives, threes, twos. Okay. So, and then of course, six plus six um, is also uh, 12 equaling three again. So no matter how you're gonna see it, there's going to be some kind of three involved um, if you are seeing these numbers. Okay, so it's about healing and music. And wow, how beautiful is that? Because having healing and music go to, they really can go hand in hand. Uh, music is very healing. Um, listening to music that soothes your soul. Okay, raising the vibration. So getting straight into the healing. Um, let's read 66 really fast to see what spirit wants to say about that. Um, you're an, an energetic being with a natural ability to heal. So when you focus on being of service, the universe will guide you when you are needed most. Set the intention to heal or be healed and you will be shown the next logical step to take. So uh, this card indicates a time to focus on healing abilities or being of service to others. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to expand your understanding of healing arts and the many different ways to heal. Perhaps you are drawn to reggae, um, physical therapy, acupuncture, uh, counseling, life coaching, anything of this nature, um, which Whichever path you choose, it's time to set the wheels in motion. So a lot of you might be spiritual healers um, or psychic healers. Um, if you can heal with your hands, things of this nature. And then, of course, counselors and stuff like that can actually heal with words. Um, and it's also telling you that you can also um, help yourself in healing as well. Okay, so it says your energy field, which is your aura. Um absorbs and stores energy from other people electrical equipment as well so be careful of that every illness and trauma in your surroundings and your own negative thoughts and emotions therefore it's important to clear your aura regularly to elevate your health and well-being and your overall quality of life which you can also do through music um, that's why we also do the chakras right to help with that aura, your chakras produce the vibrational colors to your aura. Yes. So when you have your um, chakras aligned, you will have these beautiful colors of aura coming off of your body um, because they're helping make way for that aura. So let's get down in here, see what's going on with you. See if this is about healing others or healing yourself. Or maybe two in one. A little confusion going on right now um, within yourself. Um, maybe you're confused. Um, wow, well, let's figure out why you're confused. The Knight of Cups and focus. Confused on focus. Um, if you're in the healing process, maybe you're confused on which way you should be going. Um, maybe you're confused on how to um, really take the steps to healing um, from maybe traumas, like it was saying before, or illnesses, getting rid of the negative energy. Um, Spirit wants you to know you need to focus more. Um, also focus on not being confused, right? Just kind of go with the flow. Um, because the more you use confusion, confusion is a negative. 
That's a negative energy. So worry, confusion, all those things come under negative. Just try to focus on what you can give to yourself and what you can offer others. Um, this is going to be a big one. And sometimes uh, some people can offer more to others than they do themselves. Um, so really getting deep within your offering of healing, right? It's going to be like an offering. Okay. So, and it, you know, if you're doing Reiki and doing things like that, that are, um, you know, going into those gifts, it could be easier for you to literally give healing to others than you can give to yourself. And I'm really kind of seeing that because you're kind of confused. Like, why can I give so much love and so much energy and so much great advice to someone, but I can't take my own advice? How am I going to heal myself? Just focus. Just focus on, you know, focus on what you're telling others, right? It's kind of like take your own advice. If you tell others, take a bubble bath, do this, do that, and then you get confused and you're like, I don't know where I should start. Go back in your mind and think, oh, well, I just told Susie, you know, that she should take a bubble bath. Uh, maybe I should start there. Um, so sometimes counseling yourself the way you counsel others is the way you're going to be able to do this. Okay. And then, of course, music over here is going to really raise the vibrations and really get you deep within your own soul and start really being able to intuitively um, get deep within just yourself. Right. Really opening you up. Um, cause that's what music does. The vibrations are so good, uh, for you. Um, it's going to make this change and it's going to give you this perceptive new outlook on how you can help yourself or others, right? However, it's going to be a general reading. So it's going to be a little different, but there seems to be contradiction. Like I said, <laughs> Whosoever energy I'm picking up on, it's like, I always give good advice to them and I can't take it, right? Um, stop contradicting yourself. Um, maybe you're telling, like I said, maybe you're telling other people, go listen to music and it's going to help you so much. And they're like, oh, thank you. And then you're listening to music and you're like, I don't know if this is going to work. Why would you just say that? You have to believe in what you tell other people. You have to believe that what you tell people will also help for yourself. Um, cause there's a lot of times we give advice and it's like, well, that's good for them, but it doesn't work for me. Um, so you're kind of contradicting your own offerings over here with the Knight of Cups, telling people this is the way it could be. This is good. And then you're coming over here saying, I don't know if that's good for me. And so you're a little hesitant in doing what you need to do to raise the vibrations. Yeah, it is definitely healing the temperance upside down, trying to figure out what it is. You know that it's going to take, you know, baby steps. You know there's a moderate timing for everything. And like I said, most of you are telling people this and you're not taking your own advice. So you might even be becoming impatient thinking this is never going to work for me. Listen to your music, get deep within yourself so that you can break that. It's a block. It's a block because you have the focus over here. You're so focused on helping others that, you know, it's almost to the point where it's like, I don't know how to help myself, but you're blocking your own self from your own wise words and your own, um, yeah, I just, wow. Maybe even your own love for healing. Three of cups. This will bring in the joy that you need listening to this music. It's going to raise that vibration as this three of cups is showing the vibrations rising within yourself. This is the powerful three in me. So it's showing that it's going to raise the vibrations within your mind, body, and soul. So therefore you have that. Um, and deep down inside, uh, Taurus Gemini, you already know this. For the majority of you, you already know this to be true, but why? Why are you hesitating? Why are you contradicting your own self from doing so? Right. So the sun coming out, major arcana over here saying, hey, now we have two major arcanas. Stop hesitating. Stop saying it's not going to work for me. Raise the vibrations. The sun, look at the sun vibrating. It's going to vibrate in the powerful you, mind, body, and spirit. And it's going to do this. going to give you the freedom 
It's like freedom to your soul, freedom to your aura, freedom to be at peace with yourself as you combine yourself into one big energy um, of yourself, right? So it would almost be like you feeling the energy and radiance coming through you, right? Which is funny because in seriousness, I don't know who this is for, but you do this to, for someone else. And you give this advice to them and you do these things and they feel that radiance from you, right? Every time you speak, they feel lighter, freer, more loved. And you need to do the same for yourself, but you need to believe it. Okay. And that's what Spirit really wants you to know. There is a change coming that as soon as you do this, you're going to feel the same way you do someone. The same thing you do someone else, you're going to do to yourself. Okay. And if it's somebody else out there that also wants to do this and you're like, oh, no, 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 I don't know if that's going to happen. Allow them to do that. That way you can feel the radiance as well. I really do believe it's yourself, though. And I really do believe you do give this love out. You send this type of radiant love with the sun out to other people as this just natural healer, whether, like I said, whether it's actually you actually doing something that you know you're doing or just you speaking. Um, but you need to speak to yourself the same way and take your own advice. Huh. Your soul wants you to know commitment. My commitment increases my joy and freedom. And that's the commitment and to yourself. Beautiful. Your soul wants you to know, yes, be as committed to yourself as you are committed to helping the world. The world seems sad, Taurus, Gemini, so you give out this love. No, don't be down with yourself. You're so lovely. Oh, don't let them say that you're ugly. You're beautiful. Inside, outside, you bring out all this love to everyone, and then you go home. You try to give it to yourself, and you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. No, 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 what you're doing is the same thing you just did for the Knight of Cups. But you're going to do it to yourself. And through music, you're going to open yourself up. You're going to feel the joy. Here's the joy. Here's the freedom. And you're going to allow yourself to receive the same message to yourself that you gave out without any contradictions or hesitations. All right? That's how it works. How beautiful is that, right? And that's what you're going to work on. And I know that you can do this, okay? Because I know you're all beautiful out there and you all can do this, okay? And if somebody, like I said, if somebody else is trying to give it back to you and you keep throwing it to them, allow it. Receive it. Say, yeah, you know, they're right. I am. You are just as beautiful as the people you tell you that you tell are, right? So work on that, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.